Okay, so I've got two questions here involving Legendre and Jacobi symbols to solve quadratic residues. Now my two questions are these, x squared congruent with 101 mod 301, does this have a solution? And does this one have a solution, x squared congruent with 127 mod 531? So here's my list of rules I can use to follow when I do Legendre and Jacobi symbols. Obviously Jacobi symbol when p at the bottom is not a prime number, and Legendre when p is a prime number. p must also be odd and positive, so no uh, even numbers in the bottom, no negative numbers in the bottom. The top, I can have negative numbers, and that's, that's fully legitimate. So let's have a look at the first question. Let's see how we go from there. So the Legendre symbol for this one would be 101, 301. That's how we would write this. Okay, so now we need to manipulate this and see what we can do. So first of all, I always try to start with this one here where we flip it. So let's see where that takes us. So now I've got 301, 101. Okay, so now as these questions are always periodic, so I can deduct multiples of 101 from 301. So what I could do is I can take 301, 101, deduct 202 from the top, that'll leave me with 99. So then that will give me 99, 101. Okay, now that's the same as minus two, 101, working on periodic notation. So minus two, 101. So now that will bring me into one of my rules here. So minus two over P. So if P is congruent with one or three mod eight, the answer is one. And if P is congruent with five or seven mod eight, the answer is minus one. Well, 101 is congruent with five mod eight. So the answer to this is minus one. So therefore this does not have a solution. So this equals minus one. So that's the solution to that one. Okay, so x squared can group with 127 mod 531. So again, let's set up our symbol, 127, 531. So that's our Jacobi symbol ready to go there. Now, what are we gonna do now? So again, 127, I'm not sure if I can split that up into a composite number. That looks pretty much like a prime number, just by guessing. But I think I'm gonna just by uh, normal rules, I'm going to just flip it. So let's try that. So then then maps to 531 over 127. Okay, so now using the periodic rule, I can deduct a multiple of 127 from 531. Well, 127 times my 4, that's going to give me 500 and uh, 7 fours 28, so that's going to give me 508. Okay, so therefore I deduct from here 508, that's going to leave me with 23. So I'm now left with 23, 127. Okay, so that looks pretty much like I've got prime numbers in the top and the bottom, so I'm going to flip it again. So now I've got 127, 23. Okay. Let's deduct a multiple of 23 from 127. So 23 times 5 is 115. So that's going to leave me with 12. So 12, 23. Now I can't flip it this time because I need odd and positive numbers in the bottom. So now I'm going to have to use my composite rule, which is this one here. So now what am I going to split that up into? I could do 6 and 2. 2 would work, so I could then go into this one, and then my 6, I would have a 2 and a 3. That would work, or I can go with this rule by using 4, and then put a 3 next to it. So let's try that. So then I've got, so I'm going to write it as 2 squared, 23, and then that leaves me with 3, 23. So multiplying those two together, I'll get my 12. This one I know cancels out, that will become a 1. What about 3, 23? 
Well, I've got nothing here at the moment, so I'm going to flip that again by virtue of three being odd number and positive. So then I get, so this is one, so that just stays as one. So now I'm on to 23 over three. So subtract a multiple of three from 23. I get two, three. So two and three, how can I work that one out? Well, I've got a two in the top, so I can come to this rule here. So I've got my number as three, so it's congruent with three mod eight. So therefore it's minus one. So again, this one here is minus one. So I'll put that here. This congruence has no solution and this one here has no solution either. So no solutions and no solutions. Okay.